So far we have completed filter based method. Now let's move to wrapper method. In wrapper method, we are going to learn four techniques. The first one is forward feature selection and the second one is backward feature selection and the third one is exhaustive feature selection and the final one is recursive feature elimination. So let's start with forward feature selection. The idea is take the first feature, build a model and calculate accuracy or whatever the metrics you are interested in. Then take the second feature, build a model and calculate accuracy. Likewise, take each and every feature, build a model and calculate accuracy. After building a model for each individual feature, we have to select one feature which gives us the highest accuracy. In this case, feature 4 gives us the highest accuracy. So, let's add feature 4 to the selected feature list. Now, we have to repeat the process again. This time, take the first feature, combine it with feature 4, then build a model and calculate accuracy. Likewise, take each and every feature, combine it with feature 4 and build a model, then calculate accuracy. After doing that, we have to select one feature which gives us the highest accuracy with feature 4. In this case, combining feature 2 and 4 gives us the highest accuracy. So, the second best feature is feature 2. So, let's add it to the selected feature list. In the same way, we have to repeat the process again. This time, combining feature 5, 2 and 4 gives us 92% accuracy. So, the next best feature is feature 5. Let's add it to the selected feature list. Now, I hope you got the point. We have to repeat the process again and again until we see no improvement in the model. If you see here, adding feature 1 and 3 does not make any improvement. So, simply we can stop the process here. In some cases, we have to continue the process until we build a model with all the available features. Let's say, in this case, after building a model with all the available features, the accuracy is still 92%. Just think about it. If you are able to get 92% accuracy with just these three features, then why do we need to care about all other features? Because adding extra feature does not make any improvement in the model. So, simply we can build a model with these three features. This is how we can select features using forward feature selection. In the next video, we are going to discuss about backward feature selection.